So you've got an LXR02, but you want to update the firmware, you want to scrub the guts, you want to load in all the default factory content and whatever other nice kits are on offer from the Erica Sense website. Well then, this is for you. First of all, we'll check what firmware version we've currently got. It'll display on the right hand bottom corner here when we switch on. 1.3, well, we've been terribly neglectful because I think we're currently up to 1.6. So we'll switch off again. And in this convenient upside down look, here is the micro SD card in there. So we'll take that out. So there's our micro SD card. That's where all the action happens. But of course we need the files. And so for that, we're on the Erica Sins website. We'll go to the shop page. Desktop Instruments, there's the LXR02, and down the bottom, see all these nice files. Well, we'll definitely need the firmware update, so click on that. That's downloading there. We'll have uh, the factory SD content, so that's all the standard kits, thank you. And here's a sound pack, so why not? So there are the three files, but let's have a look at the contents of our micro SD card. There it is there. Now in case of disaster, let's take all that and move it to another folder. This is just a folder on the desktop, so we'll put it here just in case the whole thing goes pear-shaped and we go, oh no, what have we done? We can come back to this, delete whatever terrible mess we have on the micro SD card and then just load in the stuff we used to have. But hopefully it won't come to that. So that's just our old stuff, so we'll get rid of that. And to that, of course, we want to add our downloads, which we just grabbed, which are here. Here is, uh, well, let's put the image on first. So we'll just drag that across. Like some uh, factory SD image. So open that up. Mac version and PC version. Open this up. Grab everything. Drag it across onto the card. That will all start copying in. I think there's what five, six projects, a couple of other files. Wait for that to do its business. Now you notice here we've got two image files. So that's not going to be good. Now it's explained, if we have a look down here, factory SD content from 2021, it says 1.1 firmware plus factory projects. So that is the 1.1 firmware, but we have just also loaded in the 1.6 firmware from here. So we don't want both, so we'll get rid of this 1.1. So we'll just delete that. Goodbye. So now we've just got the latest firmware plus the original content. What we also wanted though was those free kits and there they are there as a zip file. So let's open them up. PC version, project files, kits only, demo patterns. What do we do? Well, let's have a look at the material we've got as part of the standard factory content to give us a clue. Here's Project 00. Their patterns and those SND files are kits. There's empty songs. So that's on zero, 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 one, zero, two, patterns and a few kits. So we can see what each of these projects has.
Now let's compare that to this. And it's actually looking very similar. So here's what we can do here. Because it says downloadable content project with demo patterns. So we could go kits only. But might as well have the whole thing. So let's just take this over. We'll just drag it over, copy it into here. Now there's the naming convention, P-R-O-J, and then a two-digit number. So let's follow that, P-R-O-J, and what are we up to, 06, 06. So it's in the same format as everything else. Let's have a look at it just to make sure again. Looks pretty much the same as the other ones. So that all looks pretty hopeful. Let's take the SD card out and nip back to the machine then. So here we are back again. Uh, which way up does it go? Well, that's bound to be wrong, whichever way I do it. Of course that's the wrong way. It's always the wrong way on the first go. There we are. Looks all right. Let's turn on and hope for the best. Ah, well, you see I've made an error already because I didn't hold down the data knob as I boot it up because that's what you need to do when you update the firmware. I made the same mistake last time when I updated the firmware. So holding the data knob down, now switch on, updated to checking firmware. It's a bit better. Update OK, please reboot. I can do that. Point six, looking good. Loading project. Let's check that all this actually works. So we'll go load project. Remember our new one was number six and it's called DLC project because we didn't rename it. But we'll load that. It's all been a big success. So let's just have a listen to some of these new kits. And until next time. See ya.